Today on Lambinsky's Garage, we're moving stuff around. So let's get to it. Well, if you couldn't tell, it's like we bought stock in Overstock.com because we've got way more stuff here than we know what to do with at the moment. So that's going to the museum. We're taking that and it's gonna go pick up the other pickup and we'll jumble it around so we can at least get a trailer back. But let's go for a ride. Well, last time I had this thing out on the road, I did about 10 miles an hour and it tried to kill me. So uh, let's do 50 and head up to the museum. Well, I made it all the way here without any catastrophic failures. So that's a start. I had to stay on the phone so I couldn't record because my dad's following me and I, you know, to be honest with you, wasn't quite sure if I was gonna make it or not. But we seem to be doing just fine. Let's get her in the museum once we get the trailer out. And as if by magic, project one's out. Project two needs to go in. Let's get her in there. All right, well, she's in now. That one's coming out next. This one can stay here for a while. She can have a good rest after that drive. She's a little smoky. All right, we're coming from the museum. We're gonna head home. You got one my way, you got a few. Kind of a bad place to see. We'll wait a second. All right, you're clear to go. to beat the sound of a 5.9 with a stick. They sound pretty good. We'll get a little bit of exhaust brake action in here too when we're coming down the hill. She thumps pretty good. Slows you way down, that's cool. This is a pretty sweet setup. Can't get much better than that. Well, we made her back to home base. Let's see if this old 67 is going to fire up the patina machine. Because she's got some beautiful patina. we got to move it inside. We're going to bleed the brakes, change the wheels and tires, and then this thing's going to be going up for sale. We need the room for other things and I would kind of like my parking spot back that's beside the point we got to put a steering column and a wheel and all that stuff on this big girl so we can get her pushed off the trailer so then we can have a trailer back because that one's occupied anyways let's get this thing fired up well let's see if this big girl will start I think he said the key was on the floor somewhere oh yep there it is all right, I gotta get the key put in, I'll push the clutch in. Give her a couple of pumps, give her some choke. Well, as if by magic, dumped a little bit of gas down the carb and away she went. Well, this is the best way we know how to bleed brakes. Beat me up, Scotty. And away we go. Well, now that I'm up here and we're higher than the highwaymen on tour, we'll get to bleeding brakes because he can get underneath and just stand there and I can pump on him. It works like a champ. Well, I might have jumped the gun a little bit and forgot to record, but I'm taking the factory steelies off of this 67 Camper Special, and I'm putting them on the other 67. These, I got three of them done already. There's one more steely left. I got my good buddy Dodge, the Wonder Cat, watching over me so I don't mess them up. Anyways, we'll get that out, and then it's just about ready to go on the auction block. Well, that's done. But I think the boss had something to say over here. You got something you want to tell him? 
big man, huh? Yeah, that's right. You heard him. Better do it. This is a very nice running pickup, though. She's all got the garbage out of the back. And ready to go to somebody else's house, I'm thinking. See, look at this. You just turn the key. And away she goes. That's pretty hard to beat, isn't it? That's what I thought, anyways. This truck really does run like a top. And it looks like one, too. Those steel wheels look nice on there. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. She's a pretty good old machine. She's going to make somebody a real nice pickup, I'm thinking. Especially if you want to get into a classic. It's not going to break the bank, and it's also not another C10. I'm pretty adamant on that. C10s are cool, but this is definitely cooler. Well, we're going to do some moving around and start assembling that truck a little bit so we can get it all put back together. Because my truck's a little stuff full of stuff. Well, lucky for us, the piece that we're looking for, the steering wheel and column, is right here. And I've never been around these earlier trucks. This one's a 63. And that's a different button. I like it, though. Finding all the goodies in this box, huh? Every side and so Wow, and they're all bagged up and labeled. That makes that a lot easier. Front, Front fenders. fenders. Sweet. Yeah. That makes our life a lot easier. Look at that. We got doorage. And it even opens and closes and the body lines line up good. Well, you might have damaged your some in transport, but hey, looks good to me. All right, well, we made some progress on this truck. We got the doors on, got some other stuff on, and steering wheel and we actually took the exhaust off because my dad wants it for his short bit and it's a lot easier to just shorten this down a little bit and put mufflers on and be done but the kind of disappointing thing is we looked in the ports of the heads and there was no head work done to this it's all carbon and just not that good not not good but a little disappointing he said it was rebuilt so it probably had rings and bearings and a fresh coat of paint but you know it's better than nothing well let's head on back to dodge city and see what we got to do next well we got stuff moved around and now there's just trucks everywhere come on baby there you go we got to get that fine ride inside and i think we're gonna call her a day. So, if you liked what you saw today, or you didn't like it, let me know. But if you could like and subscribe, I would much appreciate it. We'll get a good shot of him coming around the corner here. And remember, we got stickers. And I know the guy that made them, so they're pretty cool. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. And have a nice day.